Yes, hey, uh, Mr. Puskets. Welcome back to a new video and welcome to day 11 of the Wainwrights Coast to Coast. We slept in the arse end of nowhere last night in the North York Moors and we got to the Lion Inn via the path of death. Not only was it horrendous, there were snakes trying to kill us, we got attacked by wolves and uh, the rest of it, but we made it. In fact, there's something else dead here in Rhoda, I can see it. Everything's just dead around here, including me. Uh, today we're joined by all the gang. We've got Katie, Camping Dan, Young Josh and Lloyd, the legends. So we're all walking together. Katie, you're in slates today? Yeah, I'm in slates. Katie's going to slates. The rest of us are going to a little old woman's house and sleeping in the back garden. In Little Beck. So let's get it on. Day 11. Whoop, whoop. So this is called Fat, Fat Betty. Fat Betty. Fat Betty. And apparently you, you swap sweets on it or something. There's normally sweets on it and you... That looks nothing like it. Hey, up oh, there's some sweets. Oh. There's a Cornish chocolate hot chocolate packet. No, that's we don't want that. No. Fat Betty looks not like it's just a rock with a thing on it. Yeah, I don't get. Well, it looks like a fat alien, but yeah, yeah, Fat Betty. Looking forward to seeing that for the last four days. Just all that for that. Onwards, the rain's coming on the moors, so we're waterproofed up. Jelly beans covered in rucksacks, and we're not far off coming into Glazedale, which will mark roughly the halfway just before the halfway point for the day. My feet are in tatters again, and I'm ready for home. <laughs> but we'll get to Glazedale. Shoe socks off, hopefully the village shops open and then we move onwards through the villages of Egton, Gromont and finally our destination will be Littlebeck. Onwards! Blaisdale. Just had a banging pot pie from that butcher's right there. Little uh, coffee and tea break here, there, coffee, tea. Coffee and tea. What have you got there, Dan? Oh, oh, oh. Tell you what, you're a good looking fella. Everyone is, especially young Josh. Who's 18 soon, aren't you, mate? Next week. Next week. Get you the comments, wish Josh happy birthday. And most importantly, he turns 18 soon. So that's, ladies, when you're allowed to jump on him. Go. Yeah, they're all getting <laughs> fan club t shirts with your face on it. Incoming. <laughs> As we are just walking towards Gromont or Grossmont, depends how you see it and how you pronounce it. I've got a bit of friendship, I haven't got any friendship with me at all, sorry. Um, but I like to think I have. So I call it Gromont. We're heading towards Gromont now and the sun's come out, it's glorious. And we've just been talking about you, Leanne. I know you watch my videos. So I hope you're all living the dream. Look, it's sunny like where you live. But yeah, just uh, been talking about you. I won't get soppy on you because I know we don't do that brother and sister shit, but yeah miss you and here we are well we're not at the end of today just just next village but what i'd be looking forward to gromont grossmont hopefully trains are here but if they're not they're not are they can't make them come the famous gromont train station it's absolutely stunning little train over there one coming up. Wow, lovely. So I've managed to get four beers in my bag from this shop, ready for the biggest and most famous hill of the old trip coming out of Gromont. Lloyd, have you managed to get your beers in, mate? Yeah, but I haven't got it on my back. 
Josh, have you managed to get your beers in? <laughs> right. Where are they? <laughs> Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where Lightweight backpacking, they say. Were you tempted to buy eight there? <laughs> it's about to carry far uphill. Big hills. Hey, up. Oh, that, I forgot to attend it, of course, of course. No, flattened. The biggest hill, the dreaded hill, all that rubbish coming out of Gromont. We shit it. No, that would hard. Not that long and that would hard, but there's still more to go. It's just a bit flatter now. To Little Beck, onwards. In the distance there, on a clear day, you'd see it really clear. Well, that's Whitby and Whitby Abbey. Woo! We're that way today. So while Robin Hood's Bay, one last time to set the tent up in Little Beck. Today's shot just shot us 20, is it, what is it? 18 miles, I think, today, 17 or 18 miles uh, to Little Beck. We could make it to Robin Hood's Bay, but it'd be like midnight, early hours, that's pointless. Might as well, and we're goosed. Might as well get there tomorrow for 10 miler. The North York Moors, this is pretty much the end of it at Little Beck. The rest of it's just going through uh, a couple of towns and on the coastline into Robin Hood's Bay. I dedicated the Lake District section to Sophie, who I traveled with, a good old friend of mine, as her mum passed away from MND. I dedicated the Yorkshire Dales to Nick, our mate who comes out with us, who unfortunately recently suffered a heart attack. Um, can't be with us now. The North York Moors, who do I dedicate this to? There's so many, I could dedicate this whole bloody journey to so many of you. But do you know why I dedicate this last bit to the North York Moors section? I dedicate it to young Josh. He was over there, 17 year old. Found him on day three. Honestly, I feel like a bloody proud dad to him. He lost his auntie in Feb and he decided to cross the full country in 12 days to raise money for her. And he's just raised over his, well, well over his target, well over a grand now. I dedicate this to you, young Josh. The North York Moor section. It is my life forever now, kid. Speak of the devil, he's here. Young Josh, we've just been talking. The full country. The full, the width of the full country. It's 17 awesome. year old. Love it. Mad, isn't it, mate? <laughs> I love it. Tomorrow, young Josh's girlfriend is coming to where we're staying tonight. Me and Dan and Lloyd, who's behind us, will set off earlier and get to the finish line and do our thing and then we'll watch young Josh come in but because he won't be walking with us tomorrow as mentioned he's done this for his auntie who we sadly lost and a charity, what's the charity again? Um, Eden Valley Hospice and Eden Valley Animal, Animal Shelter That's the one, he sent me the links both of them will be in the description support young Josh, yeah, everyone knows young Josh now <laughs> My mum just asked for young Josh, he's mad. But I won't say it yet, mate, because we haven't crossed the finish line, but we're nearly there, pal. Oh, yeah. Let's do it! We made it to Little Beck. And now we just come off the path up towards Intake Farm where we're staying. And blooming hell, what an hill. What an hill to finish there. But we can see it. We're nearly there. Bring you back when we set up and everything. And say goodbye to you on our last night. Not our last day, but last night. Hello everyone. So yeah, we got to Intake Farm. The host was absolutely lovely, Judith. Uh, we had us food. We all sat around a table in a, in a house, basically. Uh, with a, a few other coast to coast. There's a couple doing it um, from Bristol. And then a Dutch... Uh, set of friends doing it as well and then us guys sat around a table the food was amazing the crumble was gorgeous got pudding a lot but we're literally camping in the back garden I'm going to see if I can just show you two secs unzip this look there's Josh's tent Dan's tent Lloyd's tent and obviously I'm in mine but we are literally just in her back garden which is hilarious and amazing 10 miles to the finish tomorrow 10 miles to the finish. Woo! What a journey. Tomorrow's day 12. 
can't wait bring it on so to finish today big shout out Wayne keep it real with Ian Beale Susan Boyle passed me a biscuit and yes I Mr Pussy Gets <laughs>